so hi everyone today we will be discussing on what is a chilu admins maximum sparing tree algorithm that is used to create dependency parsing trees in nlp so like it's an, an another algorithm for creating um, maximum spanning trees as similar to prim and kruskal's which is based out of a greedy approach so let's understand how it is used for creating dependency parsing trees so assume that we have a sample sentence book that flight and we wish to get a uh dependency parsing tree for this sentence so the first step that we need to do is to create a directed graph such that uh we would be adding a dummy node in this and uh, where each word would act as a vertex in the graph alongside we would be adding a dummy very dummy node as well that is a root node now uh, in this particular graph the edges would be from each node to every other node except the root so the root would have uh, outgoing edges but no incoming edges so let's understand uh, from the image you can see that here the root uh, the dummy node that we have added uh, all the edges are going for out of this particular root but no one is coming no there is no incoming edge for for this root node except that all the other nodes in the that uh, all the other words that were in the sentence have been created have been taken as a node and they all have outgoing nodes uh, outgoing edges to each and every other node in the graph so you can see that uh book has outgoing h2 uh, that and flight again similarly flight has outgoing h2 book and that similar so uh, in short uh, what we are doing is that we are creating a directed graph number 1 uh, we are adding a dummy node uh, root that is number 2 now we are creating directed edges weighted edges from all the nodes present in the sentence all the words present in the sentence that are taken as a node to all the other nodes all the other words in the sentence except root so root would be having just outgoing edges but no incoming edges else every other node will have outgoing and incoming edges from each and every other text now there would be a question ki how we are getting this particular weights 1244 for this nothing went in, uh, mentioned in the sentence so there is a machine learning model that would be taking up all the possible uh, pairs that can be created like root book uh, book that that book that flight flight that so it would taking a uh, each and every possible play, uh, pair for this particular sentence and depending upon some probability it would be giving an output score so we won't be deep diving into how this machine learning algorithm works to assign uh, weights as is out of, uh, of scope for this video so let's get started. so assume that we have machine learning model that uh, using which we have assigned these weights for now now the next step is that uh, as i told you that chilu admins algorithm is based on greedy approach so what we need to do is that now for each and every word that is present in the sentence that has an incoming edge we need to choose the maximum weight edge that is present for that so for example for book we are having three edges 12 uh, 6 and 5 now out of these three 12 is the highest so that has been highlighted as a blue similarly you can see that for that and flight also we have highlighted the highest weighted edge for now now what we are doing is that next we would be subtracting the highest weighted edge to all the other weighted edge for that particular uh, node so for example if you see we are having a 12 here coming in right now all the incoming edge to book we would be minusing we would be minus out 12 so 12 minus 12 becomes a 0 6 minus 12 becomes a minus 6 now 5 minus 12 becomes a minus 7 similarly for all the incoming edges to flight Uh, that the weight is eight, so we would be subtracting four minus eight equals to minus four, seven minus eight equals to minus one. Similarly, we would be doing that for that also. Now, if you have followed up my previous video, so I told you that as the name itself suggests, that Chilu admins maximum spanning tree. So a big feature of a spanning tree is that we don't need to have any cycles. Cycles should not be present. So how to deal with that in this case? What we would be doing is that. wherever we are getting a cycle as you can see we are having a cycle here we would be merging these two nodes together now in the next step now these two nodes have been merged together to form a new edge tf now all the incoming edges that are to both the graphs are uh, both the nodes are now going to tf so you can see that we are having multiple incoming nodes to tf and multiple outgoing nodes to tf so if you see here minus 1 was going to flight and minus 2 was going to that now both the edges are pointing to tf only from book i guess you are getting my point now again we would be repeating the same thing what we would be again choosing for each of the node what is the maximum edge, what is the edge which has the maximum weight so in case of book 
that is 0 and in case of tf that is minus 1. So we have got root book tf. Now if you observe carefully we have got an MST here. Like, like if we try to recollect what are the features of an MST. All the nodes, all the nodes should be visited once. Number one, uh, the weight should be minimum. Uh, the weight should be maximum in case of maximum spanning tree. Uh, uh, also, there shouldn't like there shouldn't be any multiple incoming edges to any of the nodes. So you can see that there's just one incoming edge to every node. The blue ones I'm talking about, right? And there's also no cycle present now. So we have got our MST. What is the next step that has to be done? We need to expand the nodes that we have already that we have clubbed up together earlier. So you can see that route to book, book to flight, flight to that. We have got an MST. Now a single question that should have been in your mind key. How are we deciding this particular node minus one? <coughs> this particular edge minus one should be assigned to that or should be assigned to flight. So if you remember this minus one was assigned to flight originally. Hence. We are assigning this node to flight and then flight to that and we are deleting that particular uh, edge that was creating a cycle. Now again a question can come ki why aren't we deleting this edge to uh, eliminate the cycle? Why are we eliminating this particular cell to create a cycle? This is because if you remember again from an MST each node should have just one incoming node. So uh, we already have an edge uh, uh, just one incoming edge. So we already have an edge coming from book to flight. Now this edge, uh, if we include this edge, then the entire idea of MST gets spoiled out. Hence, we would be eliminating this particular edge and we would be using the below edge to eliminate the cycle. So now we have got our uh, entire MST that is root to book, book to flight, flight to that. A single question that uh, should be in your head, ki how are we getting the tags now? So if you saw in dependency parsing, here we have got the relationships. Ki, okay, uh, book is the head and flight is a dependent and similarly flight is the head and that is dependent but how are we going to get the tags that we got in case of shift reduce parsing the algorithm that I've discussed earlier. So uh, this is something out of the scope of this uh, vlog and we won't be covering that.